Hello ladies and gentlemen of the internet, how's it going? My name is Chess, and welcome back to the Another Craft server. Haha. Um, I don't really know what I'm inside. <laughs> okay, so today we're going to be working on the um, hotel building. Um, since last time there's been a couple of changes. We've got a flower pot inside now. Um, and apart from that I think that's it. Apart from the work that I've done on my plot. I now know that this underground place belongs to Elliot. He's done. Ooh, it was nice of uh, players. Um, yeah, there's some sandstone under it, etc. Um, but apart from that, uh, well, I know that one's Elliot. I've left um, Peter a little present, or Wolf Trunder. There's a tripwire there. When you step on it, it just clicks. Hopefully that'll make him poof himself a bit. But you just crapped your pants, huh? Sorry about that, I just wanted to have some fun. Welcome back, Wolfie baby. Just thought I'd give him a little welcome back. Um, that house there belongs to players. I asked him the other... Um, no, wait, it's players and Lady Lupus. They're both living in that house right now. Um, the horses. Uh, it's got a nice little carpet and it's quite awesome. I like his house, but uh, I'll, I'll get I'll get on to um, this plot. I leveled out the ground. Oh wow! I keep <laughs> I keep finding stuff that I didn't show you. This is Cookie Crumble's house here. Nice little shack there. Don't know whose that is. Um, right. So on to the actual important stuff now. Um, I got a bit carried away after leveling out the plot, and I've actually planned it out. Um, or at least what I think I'm going to do. So I'll just quickly go and grab... Oops. Ah, let me out. Let's quickly grab some uh, dirt. And there's a snowman machine there for some reason. Um, right. Let's get up here so we can have a look, quick look at this. Oh, this rain's really starting to annoy me. I hope it's... Time. I can't see what time it is. I hope it's going to be night soon so I can sleep it off. Um, so this is it here. We've got the main reception building thing there. What I'm probably going to do is have just this lower hotel building here. Um, that's going to... Well, all this central building and these three towers are all going to extend up into the sky. This bit here is going to be the lobby on the ground floor. And then on all the floors above, this will be the main bedroom. This one will be the staircase for all rooms. Oh wait, this will be the living room for all um, the bedroom, all the, um, it's not a bedroom, all the apartments. This will be a bathroom, this will be a bedroom, or storage room, or something like that. And then this will just be the staircase leading up. Then, where I've got these things here, they'll, uh, they'll be a bit wider, probably another block either side, all the way along. But that will be a glass tunnel leading to these rooms here and here. And there might be one leading here as well, I'm not sure yet. I'm spotting in a flaw in this plan already. Because um, the staircase is going to wind up. Which means that it would be quite difficult to get that to work. Unless I staggered the... I might do that. I might stagger it, so this is one, this is another. Um, that could work, that could work. Um... But yeah, let's hop down and uh, we're going to have to start getting to work. So what we're going to need for this project, so to speak, oops, let's put that back actually, is going to be some smooth stone. We're going to do it out of smooth stone and glass. So we've got a little bit of cobble here. Uh, nowhere near the amount I'm going to need, obviously. But uh, it should be enough for this episode at least. And I actually do have plans to go caving with another member of the server next episode, hopefully, if I can get that right. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to find someone that's going to go caving with us, and then we can split whatever we get 50-50. So what I'm going to do is I am going to start smelting this stuff up, and while I am doing that, um, I'll just end the recording until I am back. 
Thanks, no. Yeah, okay. Right. I shall see you in just a couple of minutes, then. Or a couple of seconds for you. But see you then. Okay, I've been sitting here for a while, and we've got a couple of stacks. But we've still got a lot left to go, and we're running out of coal. I don't even know why I actually thought that this would be enough. Um, it's evidently not. So, what I'm going to do is... I wouldn't normally do this, but... I'm going to get two buckets of lava and use them in a furnace. Um... No, it's probably not the best thing to be doing, or the best use of my iron, but it's six iron, and I think I, I'm pretty sure the power I furnished for a long, long time. I think I, I think it's a thousand blocks. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take it out of the strip mine. It's kind of difficult to navigate, but I think I've got it. I think I got it down. I can kind of tell because I've placed torches on the wall to indicate where to go and one torch is for route one and two torches is for route two and it's confusing but I think it makes reasonable sense. Right. No I just need to remember to go up there. Um that should do. Hopefully that will remind me where to go. Okay. Right, I'm going to block that up because I don't want to go down there. I should probably put a torch there so I don't accidentally uh, forget about it, but I should I should be good. Yes. Th this is how I tell where the lava is, all these torches. Every time I go past it and miss it, I actually put another torch down. So I've missed it quite a few times, as you can see. Um... Let's go along here. Should should be some lava soon. Although if I remember correctly, this tunnel is quite long. I've actually just spoken to players and... Um, well, I, he hasn't replied, but I've just asked him if he'd like to go caving. So hopefully I can uh, get something sorted for the next episode so we can actually have some materials to work with. Um, yeah. Because materials to work with are always good. Let's have a look. Where's the lava? Here. Alright, sweet. One, two. There we go. Okay. Let's head out. Just need to eat a little bit. Come on. Oh, coal. Might as well grab this while we're here because coal is. You can never have too much coal. Especially when we have none. I think that's, um, is that, okay, I think that's one of the, uh, I will, hmm, I'm trying to think of a word to describe it, one of the deceptive things about Minecraft is that, um, y you just run past coal, and it's kind of a subconscious thing, really, uh, to the point where you just, you don't think you need the coal, but in fact, you're running low on coal, so... It's kind of a weird thing. You just put thing out, it's only coal, I'm not going to mine it. And then y you've got a terrible lack of coal. Right, up we go. I will just catch you when we get back, because this is quite a long run up, and I will probably get lost on the way. So see you in a second. Don't worry guys, didn't forget to unblock it. There we go. Back we go. Okay, so I am back and I am just putting the buckets of lava in the furnace. Now, I said before that I thought lava would cook a thousand items. I am wrong. It's actually a hundred. Um, so yeah, uh, the, the reason that I said a thousand was because in Minecraft everything has burning points. And... Lava, a lava bucket has a thousand burning points, whereas coal only has 80. Each piece of coal has 80. And it takes 10, ten uh, burning points to cook one cobble, or one of anything, I think. 
I, I can't think of anything that would need more than that. But uh, we we've got a little bit of stone going, so we'll just craft this for now. There we go. A bit more. And uh, we, at least we can get the uh, foundations laid out today, and we can kind of decide what we want. Even if it, oh, it's almost night time, so we'll sleep. Even if it only means that we get some flawed... It is night. Isn't it? Is it becoming day? Well, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, so it should be night. Next, yeah, that's west. Any time now. There you go, I think that was the colour shift to night. Let's try now. Should be able to sleep. Yes, we can. Good. Just gonna do that weird thing again where we bug out. No. Good. Sometimes it does that weird thing that you saw in the first episode where it bugs out and makes you bounce. Which is quite an annoying feature. Well, no, it's not even a feature, it's a bug. Right. Okie dokie. So... I guess, first of all, I just noticed this when I was watching the video back from before. I've actually got this one wide cavity, and I've got them here too, running inside the building. And the reason being is because I want to replicate the stable design over there. And if you can't remember, or if I didn't show you in fact, um, the, the doors for this work on a button which opens some glass and pistons and then you've got the inside wall there and the way that that works is just some pistons and some redstone in between this little wall cavity here so that's hopefully what I'm going to replicate on this building over here we're going to have some more doors um, but this time I don't think I'll actually use glass because I don't like the way the pistons look sticking through the glass. So what I'll probably do is use glowstone. I think that would be quite cool. Maybe not the front door. Maybe the front door will be glass. But the doors to there, there, and there. Uh, I think I'll make. I think I'll make glowstone. So, I guess we should probably get started. Um, first of all, instead of putting the floor down and stuff. Huh. I did have some... I got some stairs there. But I did have some um, half slabs. Hmm. That's very weird. I was going to say we'll do the path first, but we don't have any uh, stuff, so I guess we can't. So I guess I'll just move on to doing this. Let's tear down all this and stop putting the, uh, the smooth stone in. I'm not going to do all of this on camera, obviously. That would just be ridiculously tedious. Right. Another thing that we actually have to work out is how we are going to manage the flaws in this building. Because I want this spiral staircase to work in such a way that... Here we go. I want the spiral staircase to work in such a way that the spiral staircase will go around... Hmm. You know what? I've just decided now. This path isn't going to work. I was talking about trying to fix it before, but it's not going to work. And possibly I'll be able to get it working when we've actually built the main thing. But I think it would be too much effort trying to get this to conform to what we want. So we might just add it in decoratively later on. So it doesn't actually have a function. It just looks nice. Um, so yeah, we've got this. Now what we need to do is we actually need to figure out... Well, I know this main lobby here will... Uh, will need replacing. But what we need to work out is we need to work out how many blocks high each full rotation of the half slabs going up will be. And then we need to make each floor that high so that the half slab reaches the same point every single time. If that makes sense. And hopefully that will 
kind of eliminate any issues that we could... Oh, that's the same block. Well done. Eliminate any issues we could have. Uh, I'm reckoning that it's only going to be... Well, I don't know. Um, I see, the issue that I had was when I built this house here, and I'm trying to use Optifine by pressing Control to zoom in, but when I built this staircase, it runs at the back. My issue was I didn't measure out the floors beforehand. So what ended up happening was the fact that I had to add some blocks in, and the staircase isn't actually even because of that. And I was going to fix it, but then we started getting a bit carried away and building on it. I think I was the first one to build in it, actually, by building that uh, top floor. Although that's, that's still not done, obviously. I would like some little chairs and stuff on the top, but I kind of wanted to build my own house first. Because I kind of need the tallest building in Spawn Town. Just for bragging rights. And as well, um, I'm probably going to add some penthouse suites at the very, very top. And one of them will always be reserved for me. Uh, probably the highest level one will be reserved for me all the time. But I think I'll add some stuff for other people too. Ah, oh, I got some more stuff there. I thought I'd run out there. Right. Yeah, if I remember right, this is a lot of um, cobblestone. A couple of stacks. Well, I've got almost two stacks ready. Two and a half. Come on, there we go. Yeah, I, th I think I think this will look quite good. Obviously, it will take a little bit of um, trial and error to get it right, but hopefully, it should be cool. The reason that I actually I should probably explain this. The reason that I laid this out on camera was because I actually had to sit uh, down and work out exactly the dimensions of these spheres that I wanted. Uh, these these outward spheres to go to try and make it look as nice as possible without making it look I, I, I'm trying to think of a way to explain it um, trying to make it look nice on the ground floors but on a way that it would fit onto this little platform place and also so that it wouldn't look too thin and tall and flimsy when it was um, when it was built up into the sky, because making stuff that's that not not that's realistic, but that has sort of it, it could be possible in real life, I guess something that makes sense to the eye is I think what I'm trying to say, so that you don't quite question how it works in your head. That's quite important. I do like to make stuff like that, all the logical stuff. I also quite like redstone, although I'm not I'm not brilliant at it. I just know how some basic things work. Hmm. Hopefully this this will be enough. Hopefully. <laughs> Could be an issue if we don't have enough. There we go. It's a little bit of lag there. But considering I am a long way away from where the soil is actually hosted, then I guess it's not too bad. Right. Put these blocks down. This is probably getting very tedious and boring, so I will probably just stop in a second and cut away to when I'm done. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. See you in a second when I finish the outer shell. Uh, it appears it was not enough. So we didn't have enough stone bricks. So that's like three stacks just for the base, essentially. So we're going to need a lot more. Got 107 uses left on my pickaxe. Yeah, okay. Well then, I guess we'll have to go and smelt up some more stuff. Quickly go have a look and see exactly how much smooth stone we've got cooked up and see if uh, the lava buckets are done yet. My guess is that they will be. 
Thank you. Oh, apparently not. Wow. Still burning strong. Sweet. Let's check this cobblestone in here then. And get out. Oh. Wow. Got some more. Need one more. Thank you. And thank you. Um, miscellaneous is this chest. Oh wow, it's becoming night time already. <laughs> Must be working quite hard if we've managed to go through this many day and night cycles. Sorry, give me just a second. Thank you. My mouse is derping out today, and I don't. I'm not even under exaggerating that it just doesn't want to work one yeah when it, whenever I move it it somehow I think it's got a bit of dust in the lens or something I'll try and clean it after this um, this episode it's just not being as responsive as it usually is so I'll just quickly finish up this I think you guys <laughs> will manage to bear through this it's not too long of placing blocks um, so Something that I have considered doing is, um, oh, um, as well, that zombie spawn over there will be a project for one episode, hopefully. Maybe we'll be able to get the master of, of spawn, uh, spawner traps in, Mr. Wolf Chunder. I have built many a spawn trap with him, to the point it's just become a custom that it's me and him that builds them. Because a lot of us guys have played together for a long time on many, many different servers. Um, usually it's just something, it, it's usually just a little server we set up over a weekend and just play. And then when the weekend's over, we delete the world. Um, but th this, this server, Another Craft, is our permanent server. Obviously when the uh, terrain updates come... I think there's actually a train update planned for 1.7. Um, but when the train updates come, if we've explored the world too much, we'll restart the world. Although I think, I think this world's alright, because I would say that no one's travelled past about 5,000, 5,000 at this point. So hopefully it won't be too bad. Now... Back to what I said a couple of seconds ago, I didn't finish my sentence, which is quite uh, usual for me. And I'm finished now, so I'm going to have to end that sentence again. Okay, done, so I'll just start adding height things now, making it taller. But first I'm actually going to need, I'm just going to run over here and grab some wood so that we can make some half slabs. See how, um, how it'll look. Before I do that, I just probably should come over here and have a li little look, see what it would be like. I'm thinking have dark wood floors that have pieces of birch, like maybe a birch trim. Uh, not there. Running around like this. So you've got dark wood here, a little birch trim and dark wood again there. So I think what would look nice would be to have a dark wood log um, Darkwood log pillar running up here, and then have our pathway spiraling around in birchwood. So I think we're going to use birchwood, which is quite handy because we've got a birch forest over here, which used to be just a forest, and then we cut it down with all the. Oh no! Apparently the birchwood forest. No, it's still here. Okay. There used to be a massive, massive forest here, but we essentially raised it to the ground when we were uh, getting wood for different projects. I think the one that used the most was probably the spawn house because it went through several iterations and it also got burnt down. Although, looking now, the birch would probably went into Marcus's house, this house, and that house. So I might have to venture a little bit further to get birch wood, but 
as well, we do have a lot of bones in random chests everywhere, so we could just use them as well. Let's head over here. There we go, here's some birch saplings. I'll want to hang on to them. See if we can find any more birch trees. I think that's it. I think this could be a birch tree over here, though. Yeah, this is a birch tree. Sweet. I'll just grab this. Sorry about the uh, chunk errors. I'm having having a couple of internet problems recently, especially when trying to connect to the server. I think something between our uh, my internet and the data center internet doesn't quite like each other at this moment in time. So, it should be fixed soon. I've um, I've tried rebooting my router and everything. So I think it's just a waiting game right now. There actually might be something going on at the data center that I, I don't know about. So, let's just get back here. Crafting bench. And, oops. Okie dokie. So, um, for now, we'll just look. I made it out of dirt, didn't I? That's probably best because it destroys quicker. So if I just build, uh, well, actually I should probably build up all, all these bits on the way. Like that, and then we can have our staircase running around. I think. I think that should look good. But we are approaching the 30 minute mark on the episode, and just in case you don't know, I actually try to keep my episodes 30 minutes or less just because of the fact that my internet kind of sucks. Um, and if I try and upload anything over 30 minutes, it takes a long time. The 30 minute video will probably take about 2 hours to upload in uh, 720p, so I'm probably not going to do that. Uh, my internet's actually quite fast, or the download is, but the upload is very slow. Uh, uploads fast at the router, but for some reason, by the time it gets to this PC, the upload is still quite, well, upload and download is very slow. So... I'm actually going to be moving uh, my PC to the basement, which is near where the router is. Uh, but my basement is full of junk. So, um, so I'm actually going to have to clean that out. But, you know, same difference. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the... Oh, hello, James. Um, yes consider subscribing please feel free to hit the subscribe button that's the same thing I, I don't know why I'm saying this you know you know what I mean if you'd like to subscribe subscribe if you'd like to like the video please like it if you dislike the video press dislike and leave a comment why you disliked it and I'll try and improve it for next time uh, but apart from that my name is Chase you have a good day see you next time